In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus FeCl3. This is sodium carbonate and this is iron 3 chloride. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. The coefficients for this equation are 3, 2, 1, 6. And there will be a link in the description of this video on how to balance the molecular equation if you need some help with that. Let's write the states now though of each of the substances. So sodium compounds are very soluble. So we're going to write AQ for aqueous. These will dissolve in water. Chlorides as well. They're very soluble. So that'll dissolve in water. But carbonates, in general, carbonates aren't soluble, except for group 1 elements when they're bonded to a carbonate, like a sodium atom, for instance. So because this is not soluble, we're going to write S for solid. These two things will react. They'll create a solid this iron 3 carbonate, and that'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we write solid for that. We said sodium compounds and chlorides are very soluble, so this will dissolve, stay dissociated there in the water into its ions. So we've got that. Now we can split the strong electrolytes part into their ions. This is going to give us the complete ionic equation. So sodium group 1 has a 1 plus ionic charge, and the carbonate ion, you can look that up, that has a 2 minus charge. Actually a good one to memorize. So for sodium, I have Na plus, and then I have two of them times three. So I have a total of six sodium ions. And I'm going to write aqueous at the end. I won't write that for each compound right now. Then for the carbonate, the three applies to everything. I have three of the carbonate ions. For the iron, we don't know the charge on iron, but we do know that chlorides, the chloride ion, has a negative charge. So 3 times the 1 minus, that's 3 minus. This has to be 3 plus. So we have our Fe3 plus, that's our iron 3 ion, and we have two of those. And then for the chloride ion, Cl minus, we have 3 times 2. So we have six of those. And those are the reactants. They come together and they form the products. We don't split solids up when we do net ionic equations. That's because they're not split up in the test tube. They're just sitting at the bottom. So we're just going to write this iron 3 carbonate as a solid. And then for our sodium, we said that was positive chloride negative. We have the 6 Na plus 6 of those chloride ions. And this is our complete ionic equation, sometimes called total ionic equation. Once we have this, we can cross out spectator ions. They appear on both sides of this complete ionic equation. Essentially, they didn't change. So we have our reactants here and our products here. We have six sodium ions on the reactants and six on the products. Just cross those out. Those are spectator ions. Likewise, we have six chloride ions here in the reactants, six in the product. Cross them out. And once we've done that, everything else is unique. That's going to leave us with our net ionic equation. Three carbonate ions, two iron three ions give us this iron three carbonate solid. I'll clean this up a bit and add the states in, and that'll give us a very nicely formatted net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus FeCl3. And this is the net ionic equation for sodium carbonate plus iron three chloride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.